What's good? Today I've got some quotes in front of me. Um, funny story, I actually have some chicken waiting for me in the oven. Uh, it's just finishing up. I think I set the time for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So I'm just going to carry on working on this beat. And when you hear a ring, if you hear a ring, then just know that that's pretty much it. I'll probably just quickly run and just switch it off. Anyway, I might post this, might not post it, depending on the beat. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, cool. So these are the chords that I have. Um, I'm using a plugin called Tape, Tape Piano. It's called Tapex here, but I had bought it as Tape Piano. I got it from Plugin Boutique. This guy was on special. I forgot how much it was, but it was super cheap. I'm not sponsored by them, but uh, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, let me just copy that one. What I want to do, so I want to add, I actually want to copy this. I'm going to put on new pattern. So what I actually want is I want a place where the notes become very short, like yeah, yeah. So there'll be a part where it's nice and long, and there'll be a place where it's okay. I'm already feeling. I'm already feeling vocally, and that's bad. Um, I always add these in, like every time. I still haven't updated this. I need to update this thing. Uh, let me grab some vocals. Let's use hooked. Hooked is a nice, um, it's a nice, what can I call it? A sub program within Arcade. Um, it's nice to add you know these really luscious clean hooks sorry I'm just adding the MIDI controller there we go we on we on we live okay all right so it's easy to make it sound you know close to what everybody else is doing so I'm gonna try and manipulate the sound slightly do some funny things with them use them here and there Okay, this is my process um, of trying to find the key. I have terrible music theory, so I just always use my ear. Just wait until it makes sense. There we go, got it. E major, that's where we are. So what's nice with Arcade is that once you, once you find your key, you can lock it to that key. So whatever happens, it will remain in that key, regardless of what, um, which program I'm running, it will always be in that correct key. So let's get something that I already have. What's this? Okay. Let's add a little bit of that. Let's place a little bit of it here. Less is more. Less is always more. Okay, I think I've got something down. Let's hear it.
Right now I'm just gonna mess around with these effects a bit. Yeah, that was weird. I wanted to sound like that, like a pretty deep voice. Let's see what this the tape delay is like. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render and replace. Which is always great to do, especially when you're doing videos for YouTube. Have less of the CPU working. Oh, even my um, exports are a little bit slower than usual. So now that it's rendered and now it's audio, can't go back. I like this, because now I'm forced to get creative. I'm gonna clone it. I'm going to do something where I bring a copy of the clone down. So I'm moving quite quickly. Okay, so I've got this one here, pattern three, which is the real one. The clone is the one just below it, right? Now, these have to be different. Otherwise, the next step's not going to work. Double click on the second one. I want to pitch that one. Let's see what happens when we pitch it up. Hasn't gone enough. Yep. Okay, it sounds weird. Uh, what am I looking for? Actually, might not have a choice. Anyway, let's see. So, already we've got about 37 seconds of the beat done. Let's see if we can do that. I'm just making up the areas of the beat. So this part will play with the sample normally. Let's hear this one here. Okay, I'm okay with it, but I'm gonna have to do some stuff to it. Um, that's gonna lead me to having to link this stuff to the mixer right now. Add some convolvers just to make it a bit more eerie. I'm gonna EQ the convolver. Let's do the same thing with the other vocal as well. Pretty excited for that chicken. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, I'm gonna bring the volume up slightly so we can hear what's going on. Okay. Um, Gonna add, what should we add? There's a sound in particular I'm thinking about. I wanna see if I can find it. Should be here. Nope, that's not it. Actually, I think that will do. So, the first part down now let's get um, what can I call this I don't even know how to call it but it's gonna create the groove 
I have no idea if this is gonna, if this is gonna work. <sighs> Let's see. Turn the oven off real quick. And I'm back. Supper is ready. <laughs> okay. So we've got something going here. It's here. I want that to be the last of the four like that let's have this going on for a bit longer just to create a bit of a vibe Now let's top it all off with a, hmm, where's that kick? Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna take this. So what I've done is I've taken the pattern from, oh, I think I might've taken the wrong pattern. I've taken one of the other patterns and used it for the kick. I think it's right hope it's right so essentially I don't want it to kick all the time I want it to only kick when it's playing the lower note so all of these top guys can go and we'll just have the bottom one going so let's see how that one goes okay you can barely hear that let's increase the velocity I can change the groove. Nah, let's keep it as is. I don't know what's happening at the moment. I'm just letting things happen. Uh, let's try get some more sounds down. It's, it's 
something happening here that I'm not liking too much. Skip that kick. I'm gonna side chain it. life in these adding some, I'm just adding some delay Some can we add? Okay, so my thinking at the moment is this is gonna need to go to TV, right? At the moment, I know exactly what my publisher is gonna say. They're gonna say that it's a little bit too subdued. Um, it needs a bit more life. It's gonna need a bit more cheesiness. So I'm gonna move it away from it being. It needs to sound less drakey, and it needs to sound more. Um, like trip to Zanzibar type of advert, so it needs to get a little bit more cheesy, a little bit more corny. Um, corny for commercial music, perfect for library music. So I'm just gonna get some, just get a little bit of that. Ooh. Just realizing now that I got the FL 20.7 update, so things are looking a little strange. Uh, I need one more transition. The struggles, the struggles of having way too many sounds. Uh, here we go. I could use that. So the transitions is just a case of fit and make fit wherever and however. Yeah, let's make those sound a bit non natural. You a little too loud, you're very loud. Okay. What else can we add in there? Maybe Could you use you too? How about we use you for this transition here? Okay, so this one has a moment, it's got moments in it where there is some kind of, um, what can I call it? There's timing. So I'm gonna see, this, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if it works now. Let's get it to yeah, fit to tempo. Let's see what happens. Sometimes it works, as I mentioned, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, ah, perfect, fits, great. So, I'm gonna take this, I'm also gonna link this one. Oh man, there we go, it's linked. It wasn't sounding too bad. Um, obviously come back and mix everything once I'm done. Now, where can we take this? I need something that's gonna make it sound. Hmm. I think I'm gonna add some brass. Brass is gonna be the one. Simple sustain. I have no idea what these are gonna do. And something tells me I might end up switching it up from brass. I just want to have a 
chord or two or three going make things just sound different <laughs> It's a bit much. Okay. I'm going to take that. Let's copy that. Send it an octave higher. See what happens. Ooh, if this is going to be here, it's going to need to be way at the back. See, very, very quickly, it's gone from commercial track to something else. Last part is I know I said cheesy, but that last part's hurting me. Let's keep the note the same. I feel like there should be a sound effect in there. Something something pretty. Let's find something pretty. Is my pretty folder? Uh, sprinkles. Need something in there. It's a little bit more hard hitting, but in the back that makes sense so i'm gonna take this heavy clap and let's push it way back okay now let's give it a bit more dynamic more character Right, for this next part, I am going to, let's get that respace. Same base, every time. Every time. Um, I want it closed. Okay, so just while I'm setting this up, um, I think this is going to be the last beat of this type that I send to TV. Something very specific about this kind of feel. Um, so just in the back of my mind, I'm remembering those other beats because what they want is they're looking for um, 12 tracks that aren't too dissimilar. They're not too different from each other. So same sort of vibe, different chords, different feel but not far right everything kind of needs to be similar in the sound up the cut off a little bit now I'm gonna bring that uh, silent across to the mixer let's get that kick standard procedure we're just gonna do a little bit of side chaining I 
I'll obviously make this fit better when I've got the what's this when I've got the when I'm doing the mixing just make everything fit a little bit better at the moment I'm just trying to get the idea down <laughs> That was the piece that was the piece of the groove I was looking for. I'm gonna add some distortion, but I'm gonna dial it back because it's probably gonna sound hectic now. <laughs> Next, let us get flex. I don't know what I'm gonna get from here, but I'm sure there's something. Um, okay, let's check this cityscape. to do with it um i'm gonna challenge myself and see if i can make it fit i might end up changing it but let's see This video is exposing how how impatient I am. Let's see what this will do. This usually fills up the gaps. Start off with a nice strong note.
see what's going on. Let's get rid of that for now. This is just a lot of older pilot, got a bit quiet. <laughs> So I've added some stuff. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna keep, but it's something. Let me link it, just clean it up a bit. So at the moment, sounding okay. I just wanted to sound better. Bulba. Getting there somehow. I really am. <laughs> I'm really trying to make this work. Arrangement wise, I'm very confused. You can hear that here there's next to nothing. Then here there's stuff. I'm going to, I think I'd like to add a fill. Everybody should have a nice set of fills in their kits. Just something generic, it doesn't have to be special. Even that will work. Let's try fit to tempo. I always try this, <laughs> always try my luck. Ah, let's see if it works. <laughs> Okay, now because of that, I'm going to need something a little bit more brilliant, something I'm going to go back to my, what did I call it? My pretty folder, I think that was it, I don't know, uh, there we go, just want something that sounds a little bit more regal, I was like, okay, cool, yeah, it's the next section now, so let's get that crash, I know it's going to be a bit loud, the full should be... I like to stereo enhance the full because I want to take people's attention away from what's the what's happening in the beat. So the best way I find is all this attention is on the center of the track, and then there'll be this weird full that comes in from the um, from the outsides, and then crash into the next part. So we can do that. 
Um, I'm just going to do a quick one. Let's grab the enhancer. Steer enhancer. Let's just go all the way. Let's do the strings. <laughs> That actually sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you had a stereo, if you're listening in a stereo fashion, then that sounded pretty cool. If not, yeah, too bad. Okay, now for this part here, I want to bring this in. It's great. I love it for TV especially. Let's bring in the crash again just for giggles. Um, Bring that right down. I know that sounds very loud. Is that reverse? Still in the pretty folder. Uh, here it is. Okay, let's make it fit. I'm gonna make this one fit. I'm even chop it. See what's up. There you go, chopped, and it should fit perfectly. Right, so what's missing now? Look, um, yeah. I'm getting a little hungry, so <laughs> I'm going to just shut up shop right now. Um, if there's anything, you know, let me know if there's anything you would have added. Um, I probably would have done this very differently had I not been hungry out of my mind. But yeah, I guess there are things in here that I'll be able to use. I'll probably end up adding an element or two. I might even bring a little bit of this here for just for the sake of the intro. I like I don't know I'll add, remove these ones just so it sounds a bit different um, what I could even do is that and then this one plays ooh, like that there we go there we go it's intro done um, let's try this guy again and then Where's that? Ah, I deleted the flex. See, now I'm coming up with new ideas. Anyway, uh, then I'm going to end it there. Yeah, thanks for enduring that with me. I'm going to go eat my food now. Peace.